Hey everybody, welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signor, and Gail Gadot has just teamed up with her Wonder Woman partner, Patty Jenkins, to make another female icon for the cinema, Cleopatra. But what's so funny is Twitter online is losing their minds complaining that they've whitewashed Cleopatra. And it's just so funny seeing these sensitive people clearly not reading their history books. I brought in David March, a uh, supporter of this channel, investor here on Popcorn Planet, and historian. David, thank you for joining me today. Yep, thanks for having me. So uh, we're going to br- show out some of this fake outrage out there and, and the corrections that we we'll correct them. I love when we can correct outrage on Twitter and on social media. But before we get to that, it's important to go through the story quickly. Cleopatra will reteam Wonder Woman's Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins. Paramount wins this in a wild auction. Apparently, Universal, Warner Brothers, Netflix, Ape, uh, Apple, everybody was in bidding to try and get this big movie. Uh, so it's all it's on de- deck to happen. Uh, the deal's more than a development pack. There's accelerated timetable Paramount prevailed because the studio uh, created an urgency to mount a big budget theatrical release for the film as quickly as possible. Um, So, big deal. Uh, The Egyptian Queen's tale has all the makings of a big female empowerment story told by a woman. She was mostly played by as a seductress in Elizabeth Taylor's version in the 1963 uh, Cleopatra film. That film cost more than any film to date, and despite winning four of the nine Oscars for which it nominated and being a big big hit, uh, it nearly bankrupt 20th Century Fox. Fun te- uh, fact there. Uh, Hollywood has continued its infatuation with the Queen of the Nile. Uh, they tried, uh, there was a Cleopatra uh, Cleopatra was going for a while, or Angelina Jolie was attached, and Lady Gaga later rumored for possible coronation following her Oscar name term after uh, and Star is Born. Uh, and so James Cameron, Denis Villeneuve, David Fincher, wow, big directors have been attached to try and make this Cleopatra movie. Yeah, I thought Angelina did it, but that's right. Angelina was just constantly trying to get that movie off the ground, but then I guess never did it. Uh, Cleopatra, obviously, so, uh, so this breaks in, sort of explains what it is, but David, that's where I want to cue to you. So Everybody online, a lot of people were excited. I was excited to read this news. I want to watch anything Patty Jenkins does because she's great. But Twitter, man, they really sure uh, were replying in crazy droves. She's not black and she's not African. The movie will never be a success, Gail Gadot. How dare you? Uh, historically, it's all the replies are all over the place. Historically, Cleopatra would have been black. I feel like if you have respect for this role, you should step down. Uh, everyone getting persnickety about me saying Cleopatra was black as if I was the only one to say it. Uh, no, they, they weren't. There were several. Get a real Egyptian actress like Ruby to play the role. Get any Egyptian actress to play the role. Westernizing European culture isn't cool. Why not someone in a movie where Egyptians can lock it up, look look up to? Now, look, there, it continues and there's more we're going to go through. But David, I, I was, I, I will admit, I'm ignorant to history as much. I, I have done it, but I'm definitely more of a movie nerd. I learned more of my history through Back to the Future and movies to remember which time period's which. Uh, but can you help sort of educate here as we go through these these reactions online? Who was Cleopatra? What race was she? And was she black? Was she Egyptian? Was she Arab? Should these people be upset that Gal Gadot is playing their Cleopatra? Well, she was Greek, so she's not any of those three things. Uh, she's uh, so Alexander con- uh, conquered half the world. As we saw, some people who put themselves through that really awful movie would have learned. <laughs> uh, then uh, at the end, uh, he's con- he's t- he's conquered Egypt, he's conquered uh, Turkey, he's conquered uh, Persia, he's into India. So he he's divided up the kingdom amongst his uh, generals, his entourage, his best friends. Got to c- uh, control key cities. One of his best friends is it's actually his mentor. Apparently, it's Ptolemy, and Ptolemy is the guy who ends up in control of Egypt. And he has a lot of kids. And eventually, one of those, uh, about three, four hundred years later, one of his descendants is uh, Cleopatra. And so she's, uh, this is like a Greek invasion force. Huh. They take the uh, city of Alexandria and make it a center for Hellenic civilization. When, uh, so he's basically, they did take a few adoptions from the local Egyptian culture from the, the way the pharaohs rang. And one of those was to keep it in the family. So if anything, Cleopatra is going to be like super Greek as uh, she and after centuries would have been marrying into the the, the family and keeping it, it, it that way. Uh, there is definitely uh, I, I haven't gone through all of the centuries of history. This is not usually my thing for uh, the, the ancients, but 
like I would not be surprised if some they married occasionally or brought in some secret lovers and le legitimized bastard children and power plays like a Game of Thrones. But uh, this is not. She's Greek, Greek she, from and Macedonian Greek, so pretty uh, white. Got it. Yeah, I mean, as I went through, there's a lot of and you can go through. There is sort of back and forth, but most the historians, if you really go read, say no, it's not. It's not what it is. She was tr transplanted in from Greek, as a as you're saying. And this is the, the 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 picture that you know is. There's a lot of pictures of her that we can go through, and we're gonna talk about in a second. But this is obvious. This was like the most official uh, sculpture that exists of her. However, most people uh, sort of think of her as sort of this. Uh, this this image is all around. Uh, when I was I actually got to go to Egypt when I was little, and I remember seeing a lot of this everywhere and, and talking about this you were you were telling me that they wore a lot of makeup so this yeah. even though her skin looks darker here this could have been you know face paint to fit in as you said correct yeah it's uh what is uh uh, uh that black face paint uh, controversy we have yeah there they are there's this is a outsider white force coming in and looking and dressing appropriating the egyptian college uh culture to uh legitimize their rank so right. she probably didn't like this is just the official propaganda posters the government put out so the peasants wouldn't over re revolt. Interesting. So it's interesting. W would she have put on that? Do you think this is that? Would, and she might have might she have done that in, in reality, like Cleopatra, the, the person would have looked more like, the, you know, Elizabeth Taylor and the people we're seeing here. Uh, mm -hmm. Might she have put on darker face paint to sort of try to fit in at certain times? And that might have been how she was painted or whatnot. And, you know, in illustrated. Yep, Exactly. So it's fascinating because someone like Gal Gadot, who plays this role, or Elizabeth Taylor, like they actually can't even probably do this as historically as they should because someone will say, "How dare you paint your face that color?" Even though it is, if we were go to go back in a time machine, that's what we would have seen. Uh, yeah. But we can't actually do that in today's I would love culture. To see if they did a scene of that showing that in the movie, like showing that, you know, oh well, you you have an official. Uh, 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 a parade tomorrow you have to dress up and right then and then if they that. and in theory that would be an interesting thing to do because then it would sort of show it would be relevant today's time too if she doesn't really mm -hmm. want to do that there's a lot of ways you could you could really address that controversy so mm -hmm. she gail Gadot's gonna have a, obviously a tough time of these woke critics who are just so sensitive that they can't handle it so speaking of them now that we've gotten all this out we've educated you guys let's just enjoy some of these responses so no so we she was an african uh, as we sort of, as we clearly just broke down, uh, she wouldn't have historically been Brax Spinello. Uh, now, would she have been Egyptian? We sort of said she would have been transplanted, a Greek transplanted in Egypt. Uh, yeah. But no, she wouldn't have had Egyptian blood uh, or uh, in her, correct? Not much of it. Not much, right. If, she, if, if they were all sleeping around at that point, there might be some, uh, mm -hmm. but not enough to call her full Egyptian. Um, and so I don't care if Elizabeth, uh, if Cleopatra's sons are Greeks, she was mixed at the end. So she was most certainly mixed, not Caucasian. Uh, so why couldn't she be? I mean, uh, and I'm just tired of general of Cleopatra. She isn't the only Egypt. I mean, there's some valid, she's got, especially at the end there. How are you going to cast Gal Gadot to play Cleopatra when Lupita is? That? So Lupita and Yango would definitely <laughs> not be the look of Cleopatra. Apart. That would be completely yeah. against who Cleopatra was, correct? No, I mean, you could do a fantasy movie and or where you're not caring. I mean, there's some English shows where they just don't talk about race anymore. Right. Uh, there was a Frankenstein show. They call it blind that, casting. Uh, I think it's a term now. They're like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Just cast whoever you want. It doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly. And it's, it's a historical piece. There was this uh, with uh, this Frankenstein show that had a couple seasons in England. And the, there's a black character who is, I'm like, is this guy supposed to be black? And then I'm like, I realize, no, they just don't care. Right. And I don't got a problem it, with it that. It was a Victorian sh period I don't show, got a so problem with that, but off that's a I choice. If you're going to make a historical epic, though, you're allowed to do it historically accurate and stop yeah. complaining. I'm sure mm -hmm. Gal Gadot is wanting to do a wonderful job. It's going to do a wonderful job. However, for me personally, I would love a clear battery who's darker than a brown paper bag because that seems a bit more historically accurate. I mean, so she's just wrong here. Again, mm -hmm. another ignorance of not really knowing her history. She's just reading the... The propaganda that was shared. Uh, Ashley here, love Gal, but Cleopatra was a black woman. Her skin was my color, if not darker. I will never understand why Hollywood continues to rewrite history of the story. Again, wrong. White people always trying to race history. She was black, not white. No, nope. uh, you're wrong, race patrol. Uh, she's black and she's not African. She, the movie will never be a success. Uh, this one was my favorite. So this Samira Khan really uh, decided to go full out. Uh, I was here. Which Hollywood dumbass thought it would be a good idea to cast an Israeli actress as Cleopatra, a very bland-looking one, instead of stunning Arab actress like Nadine? First of all, Samira. 
G Gail Gadot is not stunning? I mean, how dare you? And how dare you make this about looks? You talk about someone insecure and crazy, clearly jealous. Uh, if you're making this about looks, to calling her a Gail Gadot bland looking. Uh, shame on you, Gail Gadot. Your country steals Arab land and you're stealing their movie roles. David, this is absurd what she's saying here, correct? I mean, you had an interesting comment about this, this, particularly about stealing the Arab land. Uh, yeah, go ahead. well, that's basically what Cleopatra did. <laughs> Her family came in, they stole uh, an entire Egyptian kingdom and implanted their Greek culture on it and uh, um, try and then later appropriated that to solidify the rule. Like, that's, uh, if anything... I would be more offended if I were Egyptian because of that. <laughs> right. I mean, I don't think Egyptians get offended by these things. This is, seems to be mainly a, something that we in the West care about. She then, as people, she, the ratio on this was crazy: seven hundred fifty-nine comments versus five hundred thirty. Like, so clearly, the rate it's called a race, getting ratioed. Uh, mm -hmm. So people were upset at her trying to educate her. Uh, Cleopatra was Greek and part Berber. That's what we know for sure. Scholars have been debating this topic for centuries now. Uh, now again, she's ratioed again. What is she? Did, that she's just sort of trying to save face here, it seems, correct? Yeah, yeah I would think so. I'm, I'm not even too sure if the Berbers uh, are in that area. I'd have to <laughs> double check. Uh, maybe. But yeah, the, the Berbers are like the tribesmen and not likely to have married into uh, the, the, the ruling class. Right, and Samir then starts to making this race. It's anti-Semitic. Whatever you think of being cast, she never forget that Gail proudly served and continues to support a colonial army that notorious for maiming and murdering civilians, which is just ridiculous mm -hmm. given that it hurt the... Uh, they have a draft there. Yeah, it's mandatory to do it, and she was, that, that's ridiculous to sort of take it out on her, uh, Stephen, which Samir's trying to retweet. It always happens with the outrage. Someone, some extremist will sort of defend you, and I'll see it. Someone will defend them, and they'll just retweet it without thinking second or thought just to sort of see I'm not wrong leave me alone uh, it's, it's ridiculous when you look through all this uh, and then she like she did it like four times to try and save face sure it's Kessin Israeli as really an ancient Egyptian queen lol I don't know what's lol about this two beautiful women iconic women uh, we should be uh, lifting up and empowering these two not kicking them down Samira uh, but she keeps going and going and going and going this this one was kind of ridiculous I'm not denying that she's Greek but to say that she's not Egyptian is just pure ignorance she was born raised ruled and died in Egypt. She's an ancient Egyptian icon. Maybe because she lived there, but it's like me being a uh, Philadelphia and then moving to California. It's like, I guess it's different. It's got to talk about the race, right? An Italian uh, who moves to new, uh, to uh, <laughs> uh, China, uh, not suddenly Chinese. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 that's the difference thing. It's like, sure, I'll know Chinese culture more. I'll be more respectful of it. And I'll understand it. And I'll come to a grasp of it and I'll respect it. I may be I a native. A better description in that situation is like when the British came to Hong Kong. Sure. And when those British people, when it went back to China, how many of those pe British people stayed? She's a, she's from that ruling class, a colonial ruling class. She's not min mingling necessarily right. with the thing. She's that not even getting she's not even getting idea down and dirty in there, right? Like unlike the other Ptolemaic rulers before, she actually tried to learn Egyptian. Well, it's always fun when we can catch these people uh, in their craziness. Uh, so uh, thank you for helping to educate us and even myself. I look forward to these history lessons. We'll keep them coming as more of this happens. I'm sure this won't be the first one that we'll be able to correct in the world. Uh, David, uh, thank you for joining us, and thank you for the support here on Popcorn Planet. Uh, guys, tell me your thoughts down below. Are you excited for this? Are you uh, not excited for this? Uh, is it not because you just don't care because you've seen enough of this time period? Share all your thoughts down below in the comments. If you aren't subscribed already, consider subscribing pushing this button and watch all my other content here appreciate all of you thanks so much for watching here on popcorn planet